him to simply file a missing person report. And he just said he gonna file the report. No, at first they were filing right an attempt to listen. locate. I heard what he just, he just said. Okay, so what did we go up with? That's, okay, so that's what I've been fighting for. You missed okay, the point. Okay, so now you got what you want. Missing person attempt to locate is really the same thing, but it doesn't matter. If it makes you happy to do a missing person, you gotta- It does, and that's all I was asking for. It is, it is what it is, that's fine. I'm we not- just, I, 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 this is not gonna resolve the issue. The only thing is, I said that's why we ask particular questions. You call the officer. If you call the hospital, they will tell you nothing, right? You got a hospital. All the hospital for you. You call the morgue. He's not in the hospital. How much would There's you no take weigh? Maybe I haven't like seen him in seven years. He's smaller. How much you weigh? Tony weighs 150 pounds soaking wet. He's bony. All mommy he kids is bony. bony. So yeah, so so he got a beer gut. That's so it. She, they did, we did all the calls. They did, we did all that background work, and that's that's really so, that's, that's the most. This is the most important because if so you can take I the call to the they will not then tell you anything. If you call the morgue, they will not provide you any information. So she did that for you. So the, the, so he had not been to the hospital, and he's not locked up, and he's not and he's not dead. God forbid. You know what I mean? He's so can I ask a question? What? So he is on social security. He gets a check every month. Okay. Is there any way just to validate that he's getting his check? And we don't want to know if he getting how much money, not nothing. We just want to know. Critical, right? yeah. So we want to know okay, if he's like, I got to learn how to talk to people. Calm down. You keep saying that like I'm over because here being rude saying, or disrespectful you was, to them. Saying, arguing with feet wiping, y'all saying here. And no, what I said arguing. is that she should stay out of it. And, so, and that's that. She should. But you don't even know what's the situation. For the last Thank 20 you. years, Tonyo lived in this house. For the last 20 years, this has been his closest uh, person in the world. I'm like, oh, she's gonna see me. All right, so she's doing a report Thank you. for you. So, she, if yep. ain't so can I ask a couple questions? Thank because you. I feel like these are some things that can help us narrow down the search. He is on social security. Okay. So he gets a check every month. So you don't go on social security. You should be on social security. Well, your mom has to because your mom knows more further information. And also, if you feel as though that he's in this area, you can check the homeless shelter. See, me personally, I don't know where he is. Gotcha. So, so I haven't seen him in seven years. Shelters? Um, the He's not gonna be in his only song. He's not gonna be nowhere. He got pride issues. Okay. He, he he used to have it money. Okay. So I know he's resourceful. Yeah. He'll be able to take his finances. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, take his finances somewhere. Yeah, but if he's struggling with a drug addiction, he could be right there <laughs> under that bridge, and you would never know yeah. unless you look. So yeah. So that's what I was saying. Like, far as like, we gonna use all the resources that we can. For you all family, you can check the homeless shelter. You can look under the bridge. You can look on West Virginia Avenue. Well, yeah, because um, mom said that y'all been in this area for some time now. Since the beginning of our life. Okay, so if you know, like, the high drug area, it's like the park. Look in the See, park. See, the thing look. is... Everywhere's a high drug area. Yeah, that's true. But I'm saying like so, the parks, like right here. I know, um, or like right there, K-Pop. Exactly. So, so we call it Starburst Plaza. You look at Starburst Plaza. And my brother, um, I was talking to my mom. I know she said she spoke to you yesterday. And I'm just trying to figure out what I can do to help find him. And because I'm here in Texas, I'm not really being offered any steps. But I'm just trying to figure out. So I know my mom was saying that she spoke to you. And you said the last time you seen him was at the end of April. Well, not, no, I, not, you didn't not the end of April. It was March, like March 20th. And I gave him one month to be out of the house by April 21st because I was going to try to sell the house. And the real estate guy told me that I had to give him 30-day notice. Okay, so she was saying that you had went there and his, like, yeah. Yeah, had... yeah I'd gone there, not exactly on the 21st, but... Uh, afterwards, because I had uh, the, the um, guys, what you call them, these people who clean out the house and stuff to clean out the basement, mm -hmm. and he was and he was not there. But Shade sent me a picture today where I guess it's Facebook or Instagram or something, which I don't have that stuff. A picture of um, Antonio, two pictures of him. One with the sunglasses and one, you know, that he is a missing person and that two phone numbers, if anybody knows anything. And the police came to the house after midnight last night to ask me about him. Oh, and so when you said when you came, when you had came to check the groceries, he had grocery bags on the floor. Like the groceries. That's when I got, that, that was May 19th when I came back to live in the house because I had been at Tammy's house <clears throat> because, you know, he was acting erratic and telling me to shut the fuck up and when it's all over, he's going to shoot me in my face and stuff like that. So Tammy came over and, and brought the police 
and um, because she hadn't heard from me in three days straight and she said that wasn't like me because whenever she texts me I text her right back and uh, so she brought the police with her to do a welfare check and that's when they found out that he had changed the password on my phone and I wasn't getting any calls or any texts so um, when I came back on May 19th to stay for good until I you know get this place um, boxed up and sent to storage and stuff that's when I, I saw um, some non perishable stuff like um, hot sauce and uh, barbecue sauce and ranch dressing and stuff like that but in the freezer he had a lot of uh, orange sherbet and uh, other um, frozen stuff and in the refrigerator he had uh, stuff too like you know he just did, did some um, grocery shopping and then um, feet had come there uh, before and I told feet I said um, I said all the lights are on in the house I said the basement's light is on the upstairs lights and so he went upstairs to cut the light off and that's when he saw that the heater was on and there was a bag next to it I said because I'm getting these bills 500 some dollars for water bill which the pipe had busted and high electric bills and um, with electric and water and gas bills I said and uh, so right so basically he just wasn't there but all his stuff was there his groceries that he just bought still in a bag on the floor but he wasn't there no not when I came back on May 19th okay so he wasn't there which so I've been staying here ever since May 19th and he hasn't been back since I haven't seen him since the day I gave him the 30 day notice in March with the police present. I read it to him and and gave it to him and I uh, asked him, I said, do you have a police uh, warrant? The, my understanding is what's being reported to them when they go there is that your son no longer lives there. And that was the reason the report was taken as such. If, and, that, and that's why I'm saying, sir, there's something's not adding up. She's telling you guys that he no longer lives there, but she's telling us that she came home and all of the all of his groceries were still in a bag on the floor. Now, do you see why, as a parent or as a family member, that is suspicious and does not make sense? Yes, ma'am, I can understand that. But again, we can only go off of what we have on location when we respond out to a location. And if we don't have any other signs or anything like that, again, of a uh, individual who is an adult, is that correct? Well, 85 birthdays, so yes, a adult individual who isn't there, if we don't have anything else to go on at that time, that's why it's going to be the check on the welfare, ma'am. Right, but my son is having mental issues, and I asked this person, did he take any of his belongings? And after responding and telling me all the things she had told me, she changed up and said, she doesn't know, she's not able to go upstairs because she can't get up the stairs. Well, that doesn't sound right either because that house only has one bathroom and it's upstairs. There's so many Again, slips and slides. So what do you suggest that I do? My son has a mental issue. She, I don't, we don't know what it is, but my son is talking to people or whatever the case may be. He's not in his right state of mind. And this woman is not telling all the truth, whatever it may be, which is neither here nor there at this point how do i get some help to try to make sure that my son is safe that he's not hurt or worse again ma'am so they went they did all the checks so in the report they went through and they did their diligence of so they called all the area hospitals and all the other notifications we would make on a missing persons report they did that that night and it was negative for all the hospitals and the other locations that we call. So the question, so basically what you're saying is as long as she continues to lie and say that he doesn't live there, there's no help that we will get. And if a person has been missing for over someone? a period of time, what is your, what's the guidelines for that? Again, the missing report, reports are taken, but again, if we don't have a location where he's from and we can't locate an adult, we, we don't have a missing person report we're able to take at this time 
and with this call coming in from Texas, it's the check on the welfare that we did. And again, the notifications that were made by the officers are the same that are done for a missing person report with what we would do, which is essentially we've called every hospital in the area, all the other um, types of facilities that might come in contact with a person. We're notified or and were contacted and asked if that person was either in their care, custody, or anything of that nature. And the responses at the time were all negative. All right, so that's, that's why I'm asking you. So what you're saying, as long as she continues to lie, then there's nothing we can Again, do to get him. I can't say that the person is lying. I wasn't on scene for that interview. I didn't see the location. And my first interaction about any of this is just this phone call here. So I can't determine who would essentially be lying or who would be telling me the truth or anything so, from okay. here. But I just have the report that's here. I can give you the report numbers if you want them. All right, but so my question is, what you're saying is basically that we cannot get any help. That the authorities are we not gonna check help the welfare, us. Ma'am. What is the report? Ma'am, there's what, no other report what, we can take at this time, ma'am. What is the report number? The report number is 24111533. In your name again? Sergeant Kelly. Yeah, but basically what he's saying is they're not going to do nothing. They're not going to do anything to help as long as someone in the household is saying he's not there. So basically you can murder a person and then say, oh, well, they don't live here anymore and they ain't going to do nothing about it. Okay, have a good day. They don't care. Right. They don't care. That's what